here I have a Predator gaming laptop and I'll be replacing the CPU fan Here I have a Predator gaming laptop and I'll be replacing the CPU and GPU fan and I'll walk you through the process from start to finish. So let's take a look at the model here. In the back of the computer, it says Predator Helios 16. And this is a PH16-71-7 yg That is the model for this gaming laptop. And this is built in year manufacturer 2023. I'll be using a Torx T5, and this is a T5 screwdriver, and that would remove all the screws here and remove the back cover. So this video here would kind of walk you through replacing, no sorry, um, walk you through on uh, maybe cleaning your fan if you're having overheat issue. If your laptop gets really hot during gaming time, uh, that could be also because of the CPU fan is being too dusty that is causing overheating issue. So hopefully this video will show you, uh, able to show you from from the steps on what you need to do to get the, uh, the fan cleaned up. Otherwise, you can replace the fan entirely. All right, so let's see, come on. One last screw to get out. For some reason, the screw is not coming out. Okay, that's fine. Let's put all the screws on the side because the screws are all the same size. It is okay if you mix match the screw. Um, I like to work at the corner of the laptop. Usually that is the weaker point. Um, kind of get a prying tool here to get myself a little gap to stick in my finger there while my finger is holding it up. I'll be using a plastic instead of the metal because I do not want to um, make any scratches on, on the laptop. Okay, I have that one tiny screw here wasn't coming out. Finally comes out. Okay, let's put the uh, back cover here on the side. Now you can see the internal part of your laptop. The battery is right here at the bottom and you can see that the CPU and GPU fan is located on the top left and right. Now they do have the uh, what we call the uh, uh, CPU connector, uh, sorry the CPU fan, uh, the fan connector right here to remove them. Uh, very simple, you can just kind of slide the cable to your right to remove it. Now you want to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove all the screws to get the CPU fan out. Here I bought an entire replacement of the CPU fan. You can see that the CPU fan is not attached to the heatsink, meaning that uh, it is a separate component. You can just remove or buy them single one piece like that or you can buy the entire with the heat sink. See you in a little bit. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Thanks. Bye. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks. So if you're having a heat problem, overheating, you may want to consider removing the heat sink, okay, and then reapply the thermal paste. And after that, reapply the thermal pad as well. So um, I'll link it down in the description below, but you can go to um, Amazon or eBay, find the uh, thermal paste and also the thermal pad. Now eBay, sorry, the Amazon, the way they sell um, the, uh, the pads is they sell as in one big piece. So you may have to cut it in, 
into the shape to reapply them again. So that is the, uh, they don't sell the exact same model, they just sell uh, one piece of it. Now I'm using a Phillips screwdriver here. I'm removing the screws. Okay, that's CPU fan screws. Um, if your fan, if your fan is working and it's kind of like dirty like this, this is not bad at all. In fact, this is pretty clean, but um, the motor on this side doesn't spin, so that has to be replaced. Now, um, I, I do see liquid damage right there. So anyway, um, if your fan is um, working normally and it's full of dust, you want to take it out and get a toothbrush and just kind of brush it off. Or you can get an Aiken duster. Use the Aiken duster to uh, spray off all the, uh, the dust. Uh, so that you can get a better ventilation on this. Now, um, let me see. I think this is the size. Okay, so this one is a bad fan replaced with that. And this one is replaced with this. Okay, that's simple as that. So this is quite an easy process, not a difficult job by replacing the CPU fan. Make sure you reconnect the uh, reconnect the connector. Very straightforward. Is the slide it in? Um, I guess if you see that little white dot on the top, uh, that way you can just slide in quite easily. Mm, just want to make sure it goes all the way in. Okay, so what I'd like to do is to like to turn it on and test it out, make sure that it actually spins. Um, the battery here is, it's not screwed in, so the battery is gonna fall off, but we'll see. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and plug this one in. And press the power button to turn on the computer. Okay, I can see that the fan is spinning. And you can also hear that um, both fans are spinning. So that is spinning real good, spinning real good. And I have a window screen right here. Just wanna show that up to you guys. There you go. That's the window screen. Um, all good to go. So there you have it. Close it down. And I'm gonna disconnect the charger because the um, the battery is weak, it's not holding the charge. So this is the battery connector. Uh, very straightforward, you know, to install the battery, just push it all the way in. You have a little tape here, tape it down. And there you have it. And let's install the uh, back cover together. have all the screws to go back in it. Simple as that. Hopefully this video is helpful. If you find it helpful, please smash the like button for me. Really appreciate you for doing that. And um, if you have any question, comment down below. I do uh, 
I do read the comments and I'll try to answer any of your computer related questions in a comment down below. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, take care, good luck with the repair and bye now.